Hey guys, my name is Abby and welcome back to my channel. I've been testing so many products for spring summer to see what would look good on the skin that's like super lightweight and not too heavy. And I really just want people to feel like their skin is glowing and radiant without feeling like they have to have a ton of makeup on or like insecure to be in direct sunlight talking to somebody because it looks like you have makeup on your face. So this is just like the most confident skin routine that I could possibly give you for making sure that your foundation, your skin, your base just looks incredible and your skin is glowing. It's just your skin, but better. So if you want to see how I got this makeup look, please keep watching. I really love the light makeup, no makeup makeup look. I don't want my skin to look like I'm wearing any foundation, but I still wanna have a tan face to match my body, but also I don't want you know what I mean when it looks like you just have texture and cakiness and I don't want it to get dry throughout the day because I have dry skin. The only thing I have on my face right now is Aquaphor, which I use as my daily moisturizer. This Dream Beam Sunlit Comfy Smooth Sunscreen in SPF 40. It has mineral SPF peptides, ceramides, hyaluronic acid, so much skincare in it. And the reason I love it so much is because it doesn't look like there's anything on your skin except for... A really nice healthy glow so I'm just gonna show you how I apply and the reason this is so good like I said for spring summer if you're anything like me your body is a lot darker than your face I try to keep hats on SPF as we should and this is just like a perfect a little bit darker as you can see but nothing too dramatic my favorite way to apply this is with my hands and I just use my fingers and really like work it into the skin and then at the end I just pat it to make sure because it's tinted I want it to like go into my skin and not just lay on top so it's important to press it in. As you can see my skin just looks like it's glowing and it's a little bit tanner and honestly I could just get away with doing this and not wearing anything else but we're gonna go with the Kosas Beautyverse and we're gonna put some of that on. And I'm gonna use my fingers to apply that as well. Because there's skincare in it, it kind of like separates in the bottle and on your hand. But when you mix it together on your face, it just creates this super glossy, like hydrated glow. So the best secret that I have for this product is to let it rest on your skin before doing anything else. Like don't over mix it, don't over blend it. You can blend it, but it'll probably, you know, lose its pigment on your skin and just like go away at some point. So I like to just leave it like this, not totally blend it in because the skincare is going to absorb like a serum into my skin. And as that happens, then you're left with a really beautiful pigment from the tint. So that's my way to apply that. As you can see on my sides of my face, I have some sunspots. It really doesn't cover a lot. So if you're somebody who's looking for more of a summertime spring makeup that's more full coverage, I got you there in a different video. But for me, I don't need a lot and I still want my skin to look like skin and be a bit see-through because I don't want people to think I'm wearing something, but I still want an all over like even complexion. And then with the damp beauty blender, I just kind of press in and make sure that we are as even as possible, especially at the hairline because as you can see that tint kind of like builds up if you don't blend it properly. This is a step you do not need to do but it's a step that I enjoy doing. It's the Bye Bye Redness by It Cosmetics. Go in with your ring finger under your eyes. This is really good for all ages. My mom is 60, early 60s, I don't know exactly. But she uses this and actually introduced me to it. So if that tells you anything, it's great for all ages. And remember that this is a color corrector, so it's going to only change the purple undertones under your eyes, and it's not going to conceal them. However, you could use this just as a concealer if you wanted to, but for me, I use it as a nice hydrating base because as you can see, the consistency is quite creamy. If you're using a color corrector under your eyes before your concealer, you're setting yourself up for not having to use as much concealer. For me, as you've noticed from any of my TikTok videos, I do not like wearing a lot of makeup, if any makeup at all. I like taking my time to make each thing look like skin. So if you just swipe it on, it's not gonna look like skin. It's gonna look like it's just sitting on top because you didn't work it in. I'm gonna go in now with the Kosas Concealer and I am in color 2.6C. 
This is a pretty medium buildable can be full coverage concealer. I like to put some on my lids because I have a very red eyelids. And then you can either go in with your fingers or a sponge. The reason I like the finger is because you can really concentrate that concealer where it's supposed to go, especially if you only use one tiny, two tiny dots, you don't need a whole lot of product. And I feel like if you just do it with a beauty blender, it will kind of start to travel down your face in areas where you might not want it to be. So your finger really is the best tool if you're trying to just wear super light makeup and be really precise about it. Ow! Spider! There was a spider and it flew out of nowhere onto my mirror. How is your spider going? It's in here. It was this big and it was black. And if you wanted to add a little bit more of like a brightness here, down your nose, certain areas if you want to, but because I have dry skin, I can see it on my face, like the more product I put on it. So I'd rather not bring attention or makeup to cover up or brighten certain areas. I just like to leave it. Like I said, I'm a simple girly. I don't like things to be like, I don't, I just, it's just, it's not that much of a difference to me if I brighten my chin in like certain areas of my face. I feel like I would just rather it be the way that it's supposed to be instead of seeing the texture on my skin. For brows, I talk about this guy all the time because for me, I think it's perfect. I don't need a ton of brow lift in order to get my brows to stay in place. Because you can see they're kind of already fanning up, but I've had some people say that they went and bought this Ilia In Frame Brow Gel and they didn't mm -hmm. like it because it didn't work strong enough and again i want my brow hairs to look like their hairs i don't want them to look like they're glued to my face so i just use this and go up a little bit and it ends up being perfect i always let my brow gel set before going in and using any other like brow pencils or fill-ins or anything this is simply coco by rms and it's just like a hydrating lip and it's clean beauty, we love that. And you can't see much glow or shine like a gloss. So it's perfect if you're trying to use a liner because for me, I don't like putting liner on dry lips because then it just looks like you're wearing liner and you can't really blend it in as easily. And I just like a tiny bit of color and then to like blend it everywhere. For my cheeks today, I'm gonna be using their Rare Beauty Blush and this is in color Happy. I like this one for summer because it's not matte so that it will blend into all the cream things that I'm doing. I just put the tiniest bit on the back of my hand and then I'm gonna go in with more of a precise brush and I have this one from Say that I've been loving lately and just focus that mainly on the apples of my cheek and a tiny bit higher. I saw someone do this trick the other day and it's actually quite accurate and this is the area in which your blush should go. So if you just wanna do that, it will give you a better idea of where you should put it. Especially if I'm tan, like this color is gonna be absolutely perfect for spring, summer. Like you can see that that just made me look so much more alive with my colors. I always like to bring my blush and bronzer up onto my lids just a little bit because I feel like it's a really good way to base your eyeshadow if you're gonna wear any and if you're not gonna wear any eyeshadow this is honestly all I would do and then I would just make sure that I set it so I don't get creases from that concealer if you're looking for a good eyeshadow that's just like easy slap it on not think about it gonna look good gonna be like kind of shimmery and kind of lively for spring summer this is your best friend this is the cream creme eyeshadow I can't say cream or creme eyeshadow crayon from Jouer and I think you can maybe only get this from their website now, I'm not sure. But this one is in rich gold. Kind of pat and work this in on the inner corners. As you can see the difference on this side and this side. Especially when you get out in that sunlight and you have a tiny bit of shimmer. It's just so nice, but it also doesn't look like you're wearing glitter. I really, really dislike the look of glitter on your face. This is my favorite eyeshadow palette right now because it's very beautiful for summer. I use my Morphe M433 brush. I just go into these like three lighter shades, knock it off, and then I go into the crease. If you're not as fair as me, these are all very, very good color options. 
they're just really pigmented and I do not need all of that. It just brought in a bit of life. I'm gonna use this super old brush from MAC with this little color. It's called Awet Naturals. Naturals? And we're gonna go under our eyes just gently to bring up the color. I feel like whatever you put on your lids, you should put a tiny bit under your eyes just to bring it together and also kind of wake up your eyes a little bit. I haven't set my under eyes. And as you can see, they have a lot of brightness under them. My under eyes have very, very minimal creasing, which is why this concealer is working its way to my favorite concealer among all of them. Yeah, it just it just looks really, really good. And like, I actually wouldn't need to set this if I was like in a pinch. Other ones, I absolutely have to, but this one's still really hydrating. I don't know how it does it, truly. It's quite amazing. Please excuse the parrots outside. With that being said, it's not completely necessary, but it does make a difference if you want your makeup to last for a long time. I love to set my under eyes with this Givenchy Prisme Libre. This is like a loose setting powder. The color is Boile, Boile, Rose, what is it? Number three. The color is number three. I'm just gonna leave it at that. And then I get these little powder puffs. I think it comes in a pack of six from Amazon. This is just gonna make you look like you don't have under eyes anymore. And using one of these, combined with this loose powder has made the biggest, most world of a difference. I took the powder, I put it on the back of my hand to blot it off. And especially for aging skin, too much powder can make you look older, but not enough powder can make the makeup sink into your wrinkles. So there's a very fine line and you wanna make sure that you use the correct powder. And this one is a really good option for all ages. And if you can see the difference, this side has not been set. So we're just gonna go in and do the same thing on the other side. I just wanna call attention to the fact that I haven't set the rest of my face yet. And as you can see, it does have a nice glow to it. It's not overpowering. Laura Mercier just came out with this new pressed setting powder. So we're just gonna use that with like this little fluffy brush from Morphe, and this is a M510. And I just go in ever so lightly. You do not need to set this at all, but for the purpose of this video, I'm just gonna make it all look completed. I'm really loving this powder, by the way. Next up is bronzer because we wanna look dewy and glowy and bronze for the summer, spring, summer. <laughs> Keep saying summer, but it's not summer yet, I'm so excited. So this is the Say Bronzer in Light Bronze, and I use my Makeup by Mario brush, and I just go in and I, you can see how much I'm using already. It's my favorite bronzer I've ever used. So I just kind of make a kissy face to find that hollow, and I just focus it on the upper side of that. So I'm kind of going on top of my blush slightly because you want them to blend in really nicely. Also, there's just something about the way my makeup layers on top of that Kosas BB cream. Like, as you can see now, I haven't set this area and it doesn't have shine to it. So it just kind of goes to show you how much that serum really soaks in. And again, I have dry skin, but it doesn't make my skin any more or less dry or oily. It just kind of becomes one with my skin because it is skincare and then it just leaves that hue. And just for reference, my skin tone, I always will buy a light to medium neutral tone kind of foundation if that gives you any reference on like my skin tone to yours. The Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray from Charlotte Tilbury just to bring back the life of the skin after adding so much powder. Granted, I didn't add that much powder, but because we have dry skin, we need to use this, but I also recommend just doing it in general, especially for summer. This setting spray specifically is like water for your skin and it lays really well. I use this NYX eyebrow pencil in color taupe. I just feel like it does a really good job. I'm comparing it to my most expensive eyebrow pencils. It's right up there. Like I wouldn't change a thing about it. I feel like it's great. I'm gonna be using my favorite eyelash curler and this is from Shiseido. 
If you want to elevate your eye look and make them a bit more deep, you should use this Rare Beauty Gel Liner, and this is in True Brown. It's so pretty. Browns and neutral taupes are just like money for me. So good. You just kind of like gently tight line. And if I wanted to do a wing liner here, I could. I'm just honestly, today's not the day. I'm not feeling like I need to get that adventurous. I'm gonna be using my RMS Beauty Mascara. This is a new one for me. So we're kind of testing it out at the same time. Another pro tip is that I get these off of Amazon and I will go in with one of the spoolies and I will just take off a lot of that product because for me, I just don't like the look of super thick, clumped up lashes. Go figure. <laughs> Less is more always with everything. I'm gonna add a tiny bit more of this brown color under here, cause you'll see it just, it just, I needed it. Like it needed to have a little bit more dimension here, so. For our lips, they're quite hydrated right this second, so we're just gonna go ahead and jump straight into the liner. I love this liner so much. It's from Milani. I'll say it doesn't last as long as some of my other liners that I have that are this kind of like color, but I do just feel like it is that perfect shade, and I always love sharing with you guys things that I love from the drugstore because I feel like it's just a bit more accessible for everyone, and if it is something that I'm reaching for over my high-end products, you know it's good kind of make it a little bit more of a point. I also love the Ilia Hold Me, and I like to put this just like so gently in the inside to just give me more of that like pout, if that makes sense. Because if the outside is just my, my lip color, the inside has no color. I just, I feel like adding this bit of like a pinkish, rosy hue it's like mm, it's perfection because we're talking about drugstore this elf for Viber lip oil freaking amazing like truly i leave this in my car with me and i have it in the clear as well but i just love this red like if i have no makeup on i'm heading to a workout class and i need chapstick i put this on it's like the best it really is it's one of my favorite lip oils that i own it's saying a lot considering it's from elf for highlight, I'm realizing I'm using a lot of RMS today. A lot of clean beauty. Ilia, we've got Kosas, we've got Say, we've got RMS. We're doing so good. Loving clean beauty lately, by the way. If you're into clean beauty, keep following me because I'm gonna keep posting more about it. The Living Luminizer. I'm just gonna put this on the high points here and you're gonna see super, super subtle, but it's there. We have a very nice highlight happening. Even throw a little bit on top and it doesn't move around the powder or the blush or the bronzer. It just kind of layers really beautifully. And this completes the look of my favorite go-to spring summer makeup tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you have any questions and please don't forget to like and subscribe. I have so many things to share with you, so many new things coming in and that I am testing. So stay tuned for more and I will see you in the next video.